Y'all, it is so early in the morning, and yet I struggled to find a parking spot in this employee parking lot. All these cars are so early in the morning, y'all. Ridiculous. Good morning, my Ford Explorers. Today's date is August the 11th, 2020 on a Tuesday. And the local time right now in Denver is 4.47 a.m. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am at the airport and it's not because I have a trip. It is because yesterday afternoon, crew scheduling called me and assigned me Ready Reserve A. Yeah, they assigned me Ready Reserve A. Uh, so guys, as of the 9th, I started a six day reserve block. So the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, okay? Uh, so with this uh, six day block, it's bound to happen because for the first couple of days, you're really not used. Again, there's no six day trips. Uh, very rarely will you see a five day trip. So there are four day, three days, two days, etc. But with the reduction of flights, okay, there's not a lot as far as trips that are being offered. So I knew they were gonna call me. It was just a matter of time. So this is my first time so far this month doing couch. Now guys, when I think of couch, I mean, couch to me is like a waiting game. You know, it's like if somebody said, girl, I'll call you back in 15 minutes, okay? And they may never call you back. That is how I feel. Crew scheduling, I am sitting at the airport waiting for crew scheduling to call me with something. Now they may or may not call me back, but I would be proactive like, oh, you said you was gonna call me back 15 minutes, but it's been hours and I haven't heard from you. Okay, so that's how I feel about couch. That's the, probably the best scenario, guys. It's just the waiting game. You know, so you're taking a gamble. Will I be used? Will I not be used? That is the question. It's always been a question when I do this, but um, yeah, guys, I was off yesterday and I went and got my nails done my toes done you know that you know just the upkeep of this this is all right here this is an investment okay um, there's certain things I have to do with my airline so the nails is a, a really big thing you should always have your nails done and the toes is something different I just like having my feet done because I don't have the prettiest feet but hey at least they're polished okay um, so guys uh, there's a lot I need to do I'm just looking at my schedule right now um, so my recurrent training is in nine days, okay? So there's a, a couple more modules I have to do for training and I gotta take a test. So I should just do it today since I'm at the airport. You know, I got at least six hours, okay? So remember with a uh, couch, already reserved, standby, airport standby, whatever you wanna call it, you can be extended up to two hours. So guys, my success rate with sitting couch is not good. It's very rarely I have been used, okay? I may have done like a pre-flight or a pre-board, but as far as getting a trip, I'm not really success successful with that, guys. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Today's another day, it's a whole new month. But as of today, or I should say tomorrow, I am good for three days. Now, I'm gonna try to bid for something if something pops in. My bidding system, I hope there's a three-day trip. I am going to aggressively, very aggressively bid for that trip, but I really don't know. Um, but let me show you guys right now. Like I said, it's 4.50 a.m. and I just wanna show you the activity at the airport. So this gate over here is American, the A47. And that's the Frontier, or that is uh, my airline skate right there we use. So quite a few people guys waiting to board.
yeah so from the side i'm sitting you know like i said it's a little bit of activity guys but uh yeah that's what's currently going on so my plan today is to finish the remaining of my training um basically that's really it guys i mean right now um with everything going on you know this is august you know uh I'm debating, you know, should I take a leave or should I stay? You know, I have a very short time to make this decision, okay? And what I mean is that, you know, my airline is offering leaves, um, but I really don't know what to do, guys, as far as uh, beneficial to me. You know, do I take a leave, reduce my hours, collect unemployment, get that extra income from the government, or do I roll the dice hoping for uh you know seven or eleven on the first row right uh stay you know don't get furloughed right but then what can happen could i not get furloughed but they can put me at another base where i am needed and see that's the thing guys this is all a gamble uh i don't like going to a new base like you know that whole moving thing this was a lot for me to move from arizona to denver um, so to go to another base where I may be needed, that may be, yeah, that might be a bit too much. So I really don't know what to do, but I have to make a decision very, very quickly, guys. Um, so this is going to be a hard one. I just need to think things over and see what's the best, you know, the best outcome for me. But yeah, I've already checked in, guys. Uh, I got to be here by 5 a.m. So right now... Um, I may go get something to eat. I don't know, but I just wanted to come to you guys and kind of update you. But yes, I am sitting ready, reserve A, couch at the airport or airport standby, and we'll see how the day progress. But guys, I will be with you with uh, any other thing, so uh, stay tuned. But again, good morning. All right, guys, and a little bit of an update. Uh, local time right now is 6.30 a.m. Well, 6.31. Um, so guys, I didn't really do anything. Watched a couple of YouTube videos and um, trying to replace my uh, tablet, my device that I use for service. So um, yeah, I decided to get something to eat, so I went to the C Concourse, and because they have opened up the eating uh, area here, so I said, why not kind of have breakfast somewhere different than the A Concourse, guys? So I'm just going to show you guys real quick where I'm at. Um, what I'm looking at, this is Southwest Gates, so I'm at C, but this is what it looks like right now. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating for breakfast. So, I always go to this restaurant here. It's called Villa, uh, so you guys can see it. All right, so I have some potatoes here, roasted garlic potatoes, I believe. Okay, and then you can see in here, I have some eggs and bacon. And then guys, I already have my drink ready. So again, this is the strawberry acai no ice no strawberries because i don't want to get pregnant added lemonade but i do it so that um i get more drink than ice so this is what it looks like and then there is my cup i'm just going to mix this into here you see so yeah i am pretty much set guys so yeah to me i get my money's worth because they would give you like i said three-fourths cup of ice and very little of the mix so this is to me genius guys but um i want to give a shout out shout out to larry uh he named this wig donna as in donna summers and guys i cannot disagree with him this looks like a donna summers wig so that's what i'm gonna call it we got diva which was the burgundy and black one i was wearing now guys side note i did order this wig it should be here today uh black 1b so yeah, this is going to be called Donna Summer. So I love this wig, guys. But um, not too much, guys, going on. Now, I will say this. There is a three-day trip. Well, it's a fake three-day trip to Tampa. I did this trip, I believe, last month. The check-in is 
on the 12th, but we depart on the 13th. So I told you guys, I am good for three days as of tomorrow. So I'm hoping that trip stays in there and I will bid for that trip. So I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed because I really wanna go somewhere just to earn per diem. So that check on the 5th will be really, really good guys, September 5th. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna eat my breakfast, sit here and mind my business guys and I'll be with you. But I just wanted to come to you with a bit of an update. So I am still sitting couch, still waiting for a call back on crew scheduling. But I'm hoping they don't use me because I really want that trip to Tampa. But we'll see guys, so uh, stay tuned guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, update, update. While I'm at the airport sitting couch, local time, 8.35, no, 8.36 a.m. Okay guys, so, um, what I just did is I was on the phone for about an hour, okay, fixing my device. So I got a new tablet. Okay, so this is my device that I use to um, do service, right? So mine was not working and I had to replace it. So finally I was able to replace it. So I'm very excited. I'm really trying to take care of my business. I got about two and a half hours left, a little under two and a half hours. Um, but that trip is still in there. So I keep looking at our bidding system because guys, I'm bidding for that trip because it is a perfect trip. I am good for three days as of tomorrow. So I am hoping they do not call me for anything. I hope I can get that trip tomorrow and yeah, have a layover in Tampa guys. So uh, right now, I'm just sitting here. I should go take my, my test, but I don't know, guys. Like I said, I got a little bit of time right now before I get released, hopefully. So that's what's going on, just sitting couch. Um, the talk in the crew room is take a leave or stay. That's the, you know, I had to get out of there. It's just so much going on. I still have to think about this and I don't know what to do, but at least I got something accomplished. I have a new device. Whew. Okay, I have a new device. So that was the good thing, guys, is that I got that taken care of. So I'm just going to sit here, probably watch uh, YouTube videos, you know, Lovely T, or the Impressive channel. Like, there's so many, there's a couple people I follow, I watch all the time. Um, yeah, so guys, that is my plan here, me and, and Donna. The Don, Donna Summers wigs. But yeah, speaking of wigs, I need to know where my wigs are at. They were supposed to be here yesterday and they still have not arrived. So I need to figure out because guys, I don't want no one to take my package. Even though I live in a good neighborhood and uh, at this crash bath, but still, I don't want them. I need those wigs, okay? So uh, yeah, guys. So I will be with you guys with more updates. I'm just gonna sit here and mind my business, wear my mask, and yeah, that's it. So. You guys stay tuned and I'll be back with you with anything else. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about 11.02 a.m. and I got released. Uh, so right now I'm heading to the employee parking lot where I parked the car this morning. I'm driving home by myself. So I'm very excited, I'm tired, but I am happy to uh, get back to the crash pad. So guys, I'm gonna head to the employee parking lot and I'll be with you to wrap up this vlog. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I am in the crash pad car and I stopped. Um, so I'm still near the airport and I stopped at like a gas station. There's like a Wendy's over here. I just uh, bought or purchased a large chili from Wendy's. Love the chili no onion just cheese guys but right now the time in denver is 11 35 a.m all right so ladies and gentlemen i'm just going to end this vlog here because i am tired um but airport standby guys like i said uh this morning or earlier this morning it's really a waiting game so again i was not used they didn't call me for a pre-board or nothing. So again, my success rate sitting couch is not so good. But 
nevertheless guys i got three credit hours so wait uh ready reserve or airport standby you sit so however many hours you sit you get paid half of that or you get credit half of what you did so i sat six i got credit for three if we are extended to eight hours we get paid our credit for four you know that's in your again your reserve um guaranteed hours right which is mine is 75 so it's some credit hours you know it's just one of those things guys like i look at ready reserve or airport standby sitting couch this is me paying my dues okay so being reserved is really about putting in the work paying your dues so when you get a line you know you can kind of understand the struggle you'll be a little bit more appreciative you see what I'm saying? And that's how I look at it right now. I am paying my dues. I mean, to me, Ready Reserve prepares you for that. It just determines how hungry you are and how determined you are to get these trips. And I tell you guys, y'all, I fight for almost every trip I get. If it's not given to me, I'm going to fight for it. So that's how I look at it. Now, that trip, guys, that fake three-day trip to Tampa is gone. I have been watching this board and someone took it so let me kind of explain to you about how our bidding system works um, so if you are a line holder or if you are a reserve right are well a line holder or if it's a day off doesn't matter if you're a line holder or reserve you have up until 12 p.m. to pick up trips that are in our bidding system so if you don't pick it up before 12, then what happens is that it opens up to us reserves from 1 to 4 p.m., okay? So I was looking at that trip. I was like, okay, it's still there, it's still there, it is gone. So someone took it, guys. I'm very sad because that would have been a great trip for me because I'm good for three days as of tomorrow. So I was kind of hoping that trip would still be there, but um, that's how it kind of works, guys. Now, as a reserve, you can kind of trade but you know i look at my schedule that i am given so we're able to bid for our trips or bid for our schedule every month and as a matter of fact i need to bid for september so doesn't matter what i bid for again crew scheduling they have the final say so okay so i look at my schedule like a deck of cards if you ever played spades okay sometimes you get a good hand sometimes you get a bad hand so whatever hand you get, you gotta kinda just work with it and make it the best, and that's what I do. You know, I'm on a six day block right now. You know, I can sit here and complain because I don't like them, but I have to do what I gotta do. You know, I'm gonna always attempt to bid for a trip, even though if I'm denied, guys, because like I said, if it's not day for day, crew schedule, scheduling can't deny you. And what I mean is I'm good for three days. I might bid for a two day trip, or I might bid for a turn, right? They may deny me, but I'm going to still shoot my shot because I've always been like that. I've always been that type of girl that I will approach a guy and, you know, say, hey, what's up? I think you're cute. You want to trade numbers, whatever. He got to say yes or no. I've never been afraid. And guys, it spills over into my job. Like I said, these trips as reserve guys, we have to fight because, again, the bidding system is different for a reserve. Ours open at one. But if it's a day off, our line holder, they get to, you know, they get to pick up trips. So we get the crumbs. So I'm going to fight. I'm going to do everything I can to try to make some money. Okay. Try to maximize my coin. That's what it's all about, guys. But yeah, um, I was able to start my test. So there's a test I have to do for recurring guys. I kind of started this test, but yeah, I have to continue. I got my fly tab or my um, my service device. It's called our fly tab. I got that uh, traded out, so I'm happy about that. <sighs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do, guys. Waiting for a trip, you know. I'm gonna try to bid for something again. I must shoot my shot, even if I get denied. You can't say I didn't try. And y'all, I am very surprised sometimes. I have shot my shot, and crew scheduling has given me trips that I thought I'm not good for this trip. But they have given me these trips. So I'm going to do everything I can, guys. Like I said, I'm not just going to wait around. I'm going to be proactive and try to do something when it comes to my schedule for this month and going forward. But yeah, guys, I need to make this decision. Decision, decision, decision. 
I only have a very short amount of time. I still don't know what I want to do. If I want to take a leave or if I want to stay. This is hard, y'all. I have been thinking about this heavily. You know, I'm going to call my dad and ask him for advice. Well, he already told me what to do. He think I should take a leave, but I just love my job. I love the opportunity to fly. I, I, I do, guys. It's hard to walk away. Like I said, you know, it'll be a year and 17 days. My recurrent is in nine. My one year is in 17 days. So it's kind of hard to walk away, but I don't know, guys. You guys, yeah. You'll probably find out soon because I only have a short amount of time. So we'll see. I'm hoping this CARES Act is extended expeditiously. Like seriously, it needs to be extended. But yeah, um, I'm going to eat this uh, large chili from Wendy's. Well, go to the crash pad, take a shower, eat my chili. And then I, should, uh, I shouldn't take a nap because I need a bit. You know, it could be a good trip in there. But we'll see, guys. So anything is possible, but again, this is the life of a reserve, y'all. Y'all see how I fight. Y'all see how I struggle. You guys see how I live my life. Of course, everyone is different, but this is my journey. And I thank you guys for watching this journey. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I recommend that you do. And you do it expeditiously. Okay, like T.I. said. Expeditiously. Okay, quickly. Expeditiously, okay? So, um, yeah, welcome to all the new members, guys, the Ford Explorers. That's what we are. And, you know, I thank you guys for watching, for your support. Um, please continue because don't know what's going to happen, guys, after September 30th. But I will keep you guys updated. So until my next trip, guys, I think I got everything. Yeah, I will uh, talk to you guys later. So, again, have a great day. Signing off from Denver, y'all. And it's not even noon yet. So you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I love you guys. Bye.